This way. Here we are. Time to end. <laughs> Time to end this indeed. It was over before it began. Well, friends, it seems the uh, the bear didn't spot me, so he's not going to follow me out of the cave. Mr. Valdar, I, I'm sorry about this, you know. I try to help the best that I know how, but uh, sometimes it uh, doesn't work, as one would hope. I suppose that's uh, what you get, asking strangers for help. Hey, pardon me, could you help me uh, to change the wheel on my wagon, and then all of a sudden the wheel falls off just a few feet down the road and the stranger already gone nowhere to be seen ah, that boy won't be seeing anything anymore I suppose so sad when that happens you know I do feel slightly guilty but uh, I was only trying to do what was right if you want me to be completely honest and unfortunately sometimes it does not work out so well ah I do have a, a bit of a quest that I am on, but, you know, Brandar has never been one to uh, get so caught up in the quests. Firstly, I would like to find Miko and Richard. Join the pack once more. Ah. Some people scared of the bats, not Brandar. It's like a little flying rat, you see. Tasty treat, should you be able to catch one. Hmm, I can only wonder where my lovely, uh, lovely pets have gone, but no matter. Ah, this wizard searching for a fight, well, you found one. Not found one so much as, uh, one has found you. Oh my, she did find one, she found one after all. Good for her. Think you stand a Unfortunately, chance. it's not going to go well. The witch will burn. Burn the heretic! <laughs> right through the chest. But don't don't run away. Brandar wants to see what treats you hold. I believe I have a backpack similar to this, yes? Hmm. Quite similar indeed. I take your clothes, but leave you with the backpack. Journey into the afterlife, laden down. It seems this is a... a coven of witches. You see all of these things hanging around? Taproot? I'm not sure what it's supposed to ward off, but... It will not work on Brandar. Brandar and Dawnbreaker go into the Reach. And, uh... We shall purge it, I believe, unless we find the bear. Then I turn tail and run. Bears are no friend of mine. They're uh, quite tough, you see. Big, hairy, scary. This is how it is. We must uh, be quiet. I'm sure these witches have uh, heightened hearing or something of that, that nature. Ah, yes, and they have a spider pet as well. We know just what to do with that, don't we? <laughs> Down they go. They don't even know from whence the arrow came. Yeah, I would search the cave entrance first thing, but uh, not so bright, these ones, I think. Hmm. And my mind is now a bit clearer. I could find a spot to rest. Down they go, one by one. <laughs> hmm. The stench of magic is heavy here. Should like to uh, sniff one of them out, but it seems to be surrounding me. Such is the nature of magic, you know. Ah, many offshoots in this cave. Much to explore here. Where do you keep your goodies, hmm? Brandar would like some alchemical treats. 
We could make some potions, yes. And down she goes. She almost uh, weathered that one, but my my bow has charged with electricity. So no problems there. Ah, here we are. Briar hearts, warbler eggs, yes. I can find something to do with these. Good soul gem. Somebody's soul has been trapped in here. Were I a bit nicer, I would set them free, but instead I will use them to recharge my bow. And then, uh, perhaps once the arrow flies and the electricity is discharged, their soul might go free. A little bit at a time, of course. Can't let it all go at once, you see. Although, uh, it would be a nice option to use all of the charge on one arrow. We might be able to take down those bears and trolls in one fell swoop, hmm? Ah, but as it is, not so necessary here. These witches fall. Not so, uh, physically adept, you see. One hit is all it takes. With the water from the ceiling. Not my favorite. But uh, I think we shall make a killing on these robes. Yes. That is quite nice of them. To wear some uh, expensive garments, yes? If only I could find a trader. Brandar is always in need of a trader. Hmm. Let us go up, I suppose. These two early branches don't seem to lead me anywhere. Hmm. Round the round. Ah, the skeever. Hello there. How fare you? Well enough, I do suppose. I should put the uh, Dawnbreaker in the sheath. Lest the light attract some more of these little scamps. Hmm. Seems to be the end. We've got the uh, two more fingers of this cave. That we need to cut off. Mm. Mm. Do you smell something here? Ah, where are you? The King Kajit eyes. Nice and open. Yes. Two enemies here. And uh, a dead caribou, it seems. The spider is not going to find me out. Hidden in the shadows I am. Brandar is becoming one with the shadows, you see. When we started this adventure I was uh, not so sneaky. Not so prepared. I didn't venture into the light just yet. I would like this uh, woman to turn around. Or perhaps you could come around this corner. I would find that agreeable. No? You going back? Okay, I follow you. Hello there. <laughs> Cut the throat. You shouldn't be casting foul magics down here. You see what happens? Attracting all sorts of skeevers. Spiders. Hmm. Not good, not good. A tragedy in black, a folktale from the time of the Oblivion Crisis. Yes, we might like to uh, regale ourselves with such a tale at some point, hmm? Ah, someone obviously stopped the Oblivion Crisis. Else we would see many more Daedra running around here. Uh, Brandar summoned a Daedra or two, but... That Frost Aetronarch fell apart. Do you recall that, friends? Ah, it's quite vivid in my memory. I felt bad about it, you know? I should be summoning things from another plane into this plane. There's a reason these things are separate. Let's keep that in mind. Hmm. Some more, uh, hanging crafts from the witch. 
fantasy. Oh, this cavern opens up nicely. Hmm? Well, I should wait for the spider. Hello, little friend. Are you coming this way? I suppose not. I needn't round the corner, put myself in danger for no reason. What was that? Would you really like to find out? I shall show you. You shall learn. Enough! Huh. Enough, she calls out to the shadows. Well, I've not had enough. You see, or if I simply let you go, you would carry on with your foul magics. Of this much I am sure. So we nip the problem in the bud, yes? Hmm. What is this here? Poisons and potions. I find this agreeable. Very much empty wine over here as well. Hmm. Horror of Castle Zir, a one-act play. Interesting. Everyone enjoys a good play, do they not? It's been just a minute since we sat down to read. And Brandar does so like the reading these days. Ah. I feel a bit weaker. What is all of this? How could this happen? Hmm. Luckily I am in the cave. None shall find me. Yes, amethyst old gems. Quite a hearty little stash they had here. Now it is all for Brandar, hmm? <laughs> ah. Silver rings, lovely necklace, much forsworn armor here. I think this witch might have uh, sacrificed one of the forsworn. Which, uh, the forsworn are no friend of mine, but still, very naughty to be capturing people in the woods and such. Quite naughty of these witches to be capturing people in the woods and such. The Forsworn, the Nords, I'm sure they are all fair game for uh, the fell magics that go on down here, hmm? Almost assuredly, yes. Ah. Fang's also feeling a bit sharper. I did get the uh, antidote to one type of vampirism, but uh, Mr. Volinaro let me know that Skyrim holds another type of vampirism. And at night I did feel stronger, but uh, in the day, not so much. Luckily it is a bit overcast. Also a bit rainy. I should like to put on my, my hood. Yes, there we are. Much better now. Hmm. I should seek out a cure for this vampirism, if indeed that is what I have. Hmm, who would be knowledgeable about this? Likely the court mage in solitude. She seemed to know quite a bit. Some first-hand experience, if you ask me. <laughs> she did not uh, confirm or deny. And Brandar certainly didn't have the heart to ask. Ah, the rain gets heavier. Surely my hood will be soaked through. Must find a bit bit more cover, huh? Oh, hello there. So nice of you to join us. Hmm. Anybody there? Nobody's here, friend. Calm yourself. You needn't go any further. Just wait. Here we are. <laughs> Time to end this indeed. It was over before it began. He did not know what hit him. 
And I find the uh, cutting of the throats a bit, a bit more satisfying than the uh, flying of the arrows. Yes, and the blood on the sword is also looking quite tasty to me. Ah, it is almost assured that uh, I've cut some form of uh, vampirism. Hmm? Yes, I think so. I might need to find a cure disease potion as soon as possible. Where could I have cut this? Hmm. <coughs> I do remember cleaning out the cave with some vampires. Perhaps they got a bit more hits on me than I first suspected. Most unfortunate. One must be extremely careful when dealing with these vampires. So tricky they are. Of course, Brandar has uh, some tricks of his own, but drinking blood, mm, not one of them. I do enjoy a bit of blood in the steak. Hello there. What was that? What was that? Do you know what it was? It was your friend, Brandar. Victory is yours. I submit. Victory is mine. Oh my. This one a bit stronger. Ah, not strong enough, huh? <laughs> the orcs. Always traveling in a group. As if that's going to help. No, no. Tactics. That is what helps. You must uh, know your enemy, know yourself. Yes? Hmm. If you don't know your enemy, then uh, kill enough of them. Until you do know them. <laughs> ah, let us head now into this place. Another cave. I was hoping for a castle of some sort, but we take what we can get around here. Hmm. Most unfortunate. Well, what do I have to sit upon my brow? Yes, yes. Many things I do have. I can't quite recall. I think it was this one. Element of destruction. Yes. This will come in quite handy. Do I really need to sneak around this place? Likely not. Ah. I should think that uh, if this... If this vampirism goes all the way... I should not be able to use Dawnbreaker anymore. That would make me quite sad. Meridia would feel betrayed, you see. Never a good thing. Ah, this is Expert Lock. Almost had it. Just a little bit more. How's that? Ah. So tough, these ones. Ah! Why does my pick break so? There we are. Much better. Hopefully it has something worth the effort inside, huh? Bit of ore? Hmm. Not in the, uh, not in the market for ore so much. My bag feeling quite full. But there is a bit of a smithy outside. Yeah, I could take some of these things and attempt to work them. Ah, but is it worth it? That is my question. This is some lovely heavy armor. But I don't think uh, Brandar has much room for such things. Perhaps we make a little room? Yes. It should do nicely. Dwarven battle axe? Hmm. Why? No purpose to this. I'm sure I've picked it up on, on accident, yes? Hmm. wonder if they have more chests down here. This fellow coming right towards Brandar. Ah. Taste some of my arrow, should you? There's someone there. Oh. This one weathered the arrow rather well. 
think he uh, might be the leader of this little group they have here. Yes, let us try some dwarven arrows. See how that there. should work. There you are. Back away. Hide in the boxes, yes. <laughs> ah, they give up so easily. Their nose not so keen as Brandar's, you see. The orcs, they have a bit more of a snout than a nose. Is someone there? No more! I yield! I yield! I yield! Oh, so sad for you. Stand up! Anybody there? Die like a man! There you are. Now look at me. Look right here. Hey! They said look at me! Ugh. Brandar seems to be missing for no reason here. Perhaps I should uh, give him the hand-to-hand -hand that he would desire. You puny weakling! Puny weakling! <laughs> now we are just playing games, aren't we? No! no. Like this. Yeah, it's going to be like this, friend. I regret to inform you. No choice. It must be done. Hmm, he's got a key. Which leads me to think that there might be even more in this mine. Ah, but I have hardly any room. The armor's challenge. Yes, this is coming with me. We shall sit and have a bit of a story time soon. Hmm, perhaps this key was just to the, uh, the chest. I've already unlocked. We shall call it good for now. I should really find myself a cure disease potion. Hmm. Yes, I feel the uh, the bloodlust coming over me just a bit. Oh no, not like this. I should like to rest for just a little while. Stare into the fires of the forge. And clear my mind. Ah. Indeed, I do feel uh, quite a bit stronger these days. So nice. Fantastically done. How about this uh, one hand? Should we like to become more proficient? Daggers and such? Hmm. I think not. Archery, light armor. Yes. As a leaf. Hmm, initiative. This could be quite interesting. I think I shall take the initiative. Not usually Brandar's forte, but uh, you know, times they are changing. Some might say. Wonders well. When should the rain stop? This is the other question that I have. Hmm. Well, it seems uh, a bit heavy around here. I don't want to stand around at the forge all day. So I put my hood back on. The leather helmet uh, quite nice, but it leaves me a little bit exposed. The hood, you see, can be pulled down over the eyes if the wind uh, should shift direction. Ah, but it is it is a good thing. Not fearing the rain so much anymore. Ah, what I do fear is what is happening to my body. Must find some some respite somewhere. Oh, that loaded my bag down a bit too much. Somebody should like this dwarven sword, I think. Wonderful. 
Do I really need it? Mm, not so much. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.